So in the second part, we're going to discuss how we can have a better UI when getting close to interactable objects. As you can see, uh, the E button is uh, displaying when I'm near the interactable object. And we're going to discuss how to use uh, the items in our inventory list. So this is our scene from the previous video. The only thing that has changed is I added a bookshelf, as you can see. Now we're going to create a UI image and name it E button. And then we're going to attach the sprite uh, 10 PNG uh, E image. And here I am just adjusting the position and the size. Now we're going to go to the interactor script. Here we're going to change some stuff. Uh, first, we're going to create a, a bool uh, method, boolean method. We're going to name it as close and inside it uh, add the collider as a parameter. And then here we're going to copy and paste this line, the distance, and delete it from here and then add it here. And then uh, we're going to type uh, return. And then we're going to type the condition distance less than uh, interactor range. Also add equal. So it's going to return true if the distance is close. Else it's going to return false. So we're going to update it uh, up here. We're going to type collider as a parameter. Uh, another thing we're going to do is we're going to copy the array colliders and declare it outside and we're going to copy this line and then we're going to paste it in the update function and also remove this one so here we are assigning the colliders So we're going to create a serialized field and an image component. We're going to name it E button. Also make sure to include unity engine dot UI. So the E button, we're going to enable it or disable it uh, depends on if we collided with an interactable object or if we are close to an interactable object. So we're going to type e button dot enabled and we're gonna make it equal to colliders dot length is greater than zero so basically if it's greater than zero that means we are close to an interactable object that's mean we're gonna enable the e button let's save the script and in the previous video uh we attached the interactor script to the main camera, which caused me some issues. So we, we're just going to copy the component and then we're going to remove it. And then we're going to go to the player. And then up, we're going to click on here and then click on paste component as a new. Okay, scroll down. Uh, let's change the interactor source to the player the interactor range level 2 and then don't change the layer and the E button image we're gonna assign it so let's hit play and here as you can see I'm approaching to the book and the E image is displaying whenever I get close it it's displayed okay another thing we're gonna do is that how we're going to place the book in the shelf so we need to use the item in our inventory so to do that we're gonna go to the interactor script again let's copy this uh, line of code and then paste it and change it to examining change the interface to examining and the function examine okay let's add the brackets and we're gonna go down 
and then here we're gonna type else f and we're gonna copy one and paste it here we're gonna change the interface to eye examining and change the variable to examine okay we're gonna type examine object examine function so here we are examining uh, the bookshelf And then also another, another thing is that I added uh, the book clone as you can see this is how the book should be uh, placed so this is just a, a clone of the same game object now we're going to create a new script we're gonna name it shelf examine now let's remove uh, the start and the update function and we're gonna uh, call the interface the eye examining interface and then I'm gonna call the function uh, examine I'm gonna implement it and then here we're gonna type serialized field a game object and our book clone so uh, when we're examining we're gonna set the book clone to set active to true we're gonna activate it uh, another thing uh, we need to do is that uh, we need to remove the item from the list so when we are placing the book game object uh, we need to remove uh, the item so how to do that uh, we're gonna go to the inventory manager script and then the add item we're gonna copy the function add item and paste it and we're gonna uh, rename the function to remove item instead and then here we go, uh, and then here we're just gonna change it to decrement minus minus and here we're gonna uh, make it to remove not add so here we are removing the item from the list so let's go back to the shelf examine script now we're gonna call the inventory manager as a serialized field So we're gonna uh, call inventory manager dot uh, remove item, and we're gonna remove uh, the book. It's named as book. Okay. So another thing we need to do is that we need to check if we have the item or not, because if we if we don't have the item, uh, we cannot place the book item because it doesn't exist. So first we need to check if if we have the item in our inventory manager. I'm also going to add the uh, debug logs so else uh, I don't have the item the book item now I'm going to save the script and now here we're going to attach uh, the bookshelf uh, script also please make sure that the objects have a collider so now we're going to assign the book clone and the inventory manager. Okay. Another thing, we also need to make sure that the layer is set to interactable. So we can interact with the bookshelf. Let's play. And now, uh, first, let's test. Uh, let's go to the bookshelf and click on E. As you can see, I'm clicking on the E. The debug shows that I don't have the book item so I cannot displace anything so now here I'm grabbing the book and now I it's added in the inventory and then I'm clicking on the shelf again and as you can see I placed it another thing I want to do is that I want to set uh, the layer of the game object to zero default layer because we no longer need uh, to interact with the shelf if we already placed uh, the book I 
Thank you guys for watching.